today I have asked Chris to guide you through one of these healing relaxation meditations because this work right here is the work that needs to be done in order to get to the inner layers of yourself where you store your beliefs where you find out who you are hey we're Britt and Chris Carmichael and you're listening to the Elevated Life Podcast Throughout the 13 years we've been together, we've never ceased in our endless quest to better ourselves. We've studied top experts, philosophers, and gurus. After years of personal self-experimentation, we found the tools for shifting your beliefs, moving through fears, and developing a positive mindset. If you're ready for a breakthrough, then you're in the right place because we're here to empower you to take control of your life with simple mindset shifts that create radical transformation. We'll be diving into topics like personal growth, health, philosophy, spirituality, relationships, success, and mindfulness. So create some space for yourself and get comfy. It's time to become the badass you were born to be. If you've ever wanted to experience total relaxation, mental, physical, emotional, all the things... This is the episode for you because, you know, one thing that's really helped me to relax and my goodness, even my astrology says I need to learn to relax. So thank goodness I married a freaking hypnosis teacher uh, because he has taught me so many different ways to relax and I've been able to be the guinea pig for him in practicing his hypnosis work literally over the last decade or longer and it's been so nice because this is the thing that I do every single week at the end of my work day on Saturday I book a session with Chris and we create space to go into these deep guided meditations to be able to heal to relax to let go of all the stress from the days and all the worries and just like finally feel at ease and not like somebody needs something or, you know, got to be on to the next one, or even like going after your goals, like that can be overwhelming and stressful sometimes too, even when they're fun goals that you've consciously chosen. So for me, every Saturday, my appointment with Chris is sacred. It's how I relax. It's how I recharge. It's how I let go of all of everybody else's shit, man. As an empath, I pick up so much from people, especially when I'm touching their hair in the salon or I'm coaching and they're opening their hearts and being vulnerable. It's a lot. And it's okay that it's a lot, but it's not okay if you don't do something properly with it. And for me, hypnosis has been the thing that has helped me to clear my energy. And also one of the most exciting and loved things inside the Elevated Life Club. Our elevators are obsessed with the meditations that we do every single masterclass. You see, we don't just teach you and talk at you. We help guide you through the integration process of making the changes on a subconscious level. And that's what makes our membership club, our monthly coaching, so different than anything else you'll ever experience. And speaking of experience, I want you to have that, whether you join us in the club or not. Today, I have asked Chris to guide you through one of these healing relaxation meditations because this work right here is the work that needs to be done in order to get to the inner layers of yourself, where you store your beliefs, where you find out who you are, where you uncover your integrity and your authenticity. But we have to get through the blocks and the walls that we've built up that are keeping us out. So I'm just going to walk you through a simple guided meditation. We're using hypnosis and guided meditation as very similar words, they're similar processes. So find yourself comfortable. Make sure that you're not in a car. We're going to be closing our eyes down just to allow us to get rid of the distracting visual world. So get comfortable. Be in a quiet place. Lie down and close your eyes. And begin by taking a few nice, long, slow, deep breaths. And when you breathe out, I want you to see if you can just let go of any kind of tension that you're holding anywhere in your body. If you're holding on to anything, just start to let it go. Keep taking those nice long breaths, breathing in, breathing out. Letting yourself just begin to sink further into this time for relaxation. 
Now what I want you to do is I want you to just scan your body really quick because a lot of times we hold stress in one area. A lot of times we'll tense that area. So find if you're holding any stress. Start at the top of your head and just slowly scan down. Look at what's going on on your cheeks. Are you clenching your jaw? Are your shoulders relaxed? Is your neck tense? Where are you at? Scan from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Find where any places that you're holding stress in your body and just tense it for a quick moment and then let it out. And on that exhale, just keep sitting your body into this relaxing state. Now what I want you to do is I just want you to imagine the stress that you've been accumulating lately. Let's say over the last day, let's say over the last week or so, maybe even the last month. Whatever little bitty things, little annoyances, things that have come up, I want you to imagine that they're stored inside your body. And I want you to imagine that they're a color. Pick whatever color means stress or aggravation, or frustration, whatever color it means that to you. Find that space in your body where you're holding it or imagine your body filled with it and imagine it this color. And put your focus on your breathing again. And every time you breathe out, I want you to breathe out some of that stress. Breathe away some of that color. And so with each breath, what you're going to notice is this stress becomes lighter in color and lighter in color and until it just blends in again, until the color just vanishes out. It becomes less intense, more dim and dull and distant. And so each exhale that you're going to have is going to send this away from you. And notice that as you take each exhale, your body and mind just begin to feel better. That you find yourself more restful, more at peace. You find that your breathing is restored. And now that we let some of that out of our body, let's see what we're holding on to in our mind. Imagine yourself turning inward now and looking through your mind and seeing what thoughts you've been holding on to. What thoughts have you been thinking that are no longer helping you? And I want you to imagine yourself reaching out and grabbing that thought and holding it in your hand and then I want you to squeeze it until it turns into sand and then just let it go. Now peer back into that mind again and look up and see if there's anything that's floating around in there that maybe is not necessary anymore. Maybe it's not really about your true potential. Find that thought, reach up and grab it. Bring it into your hand and squeeze it. And watch it turn into sand. And then just let it go. One more time, reach up and grab another thought down. Pull it down and hold it. Look at it. And say, I don't need this anymore. So you squeeze it. You watch it turn into sand. And then you let it go. Now, after a few moments of slow breathing, of getting rid of the tension in our body, of draining out the stress that we have, and removing some of the thoughts that have been holding us back, notice how much better you feel than you did just a few moments ago. Notice how there's less tension and strain Notice how you started to relax even more. This is always a space you can come back to. Your natural state is this nice at rest position. When you feel overwhelmed or stressed or worried or afraid, come back here. 
And what you're going to notice is that oftentimes our mind is racing too fast for us to see the answer that's always right in front of us. And when you settle into this relaxation, oftentimes the answer just kind of pops up. You just relax the mind enough to remove whatever was in the way. Now that your body's settled and your thoughts have settled, you just allow your relaxation to continue to grow. If you recognize this as a moment of stillness, and a moment of peace, and that you always need to come back to this place. It's important for your long-term growth. It's important for your own self-care. It's important so that you can continue to fill your cup up so that when you give to others, you don't feel drained. You don't feel down. You feel full, full of energy, full of vibrancy, full of life, full with an open heart. Now, as we wrap up, I want you to wrap your arms around your body and I want you to give yourself a hug. And I just want you to say to yourself, I appreciate you. Thanks for a good week. Thanks for sticking it out. Thanks for showing up. Now I'm going to count from one up to three. At the count of three, lay your eyes open. You're calm, refreshed, relaxed, feeling good in every way. One, slowly coming back into the present moment, allowing your body to begin to wake up again. Maybe you find a little bit of movement. Two, you're still feeling calm and relaxed and serene. You've settled a little bit. Now you're ready to be back with the world. On number three, open your eyes, take a nice big deep breath in, and notice how good you feel. Oh, I'm so relaxed. Oh my gosh, I'm out of it, and you want me to talk? You know, it. welcome back, first of all. Oh, my God. It takes a few moments to come back, and don't worry about that. It's totally natural. What is really good to realize about this is that we have to make the time and effort to put these into our lives, just to give ourselves a few moments of peace and rest. There's a reason why. Look at my face. You're so relaxed. There's a, there's a reason why meditation and mindfulness have become such big things in our you know, very quick world that we're in now. And you have to let your mind off the hook for a little bit. We have to like not fill it with so many thoughts. We have to have a moment where we're just in the flow and where we're unburdened by everyone else's needs for us and even our own needs for us. Sometimes we have to set everything aside and just hit that reset button. So for once a week, this is how I help out Brett. It's not something you have to do every day, but at minimum once a week, you've got to be getting this in. This kind of work is extremely important. And you'll notice that when you relax more often, you grow a lot faster. And it's because you're, you, it's almost like you fill back up the tank of your gas. You know, it's, it, you're, you have more to burn out again. It's like, oh yes, I'm relaxed. It's like when you sleep and you wake up, like if you've ever worked real hard in the day or you've done a lot of physical activity and you hit that sleep and you wake up in the morning, you're like, woo, woo, I'm back. You have that I'm back feeling, and that's what this is all about. Ooh, I'm back. There you go. <laughs> no, that really felt so good, so thank you for that. If you guys enjoyed that, you can always go back and listen to this again and again and again. And if you want more of this in more different scenarios from inner child to success to confidence to all the things, then we've got you covered inside the Elevated Life Club. Join us by signing up, and you'll access over 50 different master classes that each have three guided meditations within the training, as well as an additional yoga and meditation practice. It's cheating. It's cheating, and we're here to help. <laughs> so we'll see you inside the club. And until then, we'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Elevated Life Podcast. 
Want more? Join us at theelevatedlifeclub.com for mindset upgrades, lifestyle hacks, and spiritual tools to elevate your soul. Each month features a new masterclass, meditation, yoga practice, and more to help you transform your life one step at a time. Come join the 7 or Above Club.